During a challenge, I wear headphones because I like to listen to music. I love girly pop music. Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, freaking awesome. Music helps me get my mind off the massive amount of food that's sitting in front of me. It allows me to eat more, eat faster without even noticing it. My name is Randy Santel. I'm a professional eater from the United States. I specialize in food challenges, competitive eating, and nutrition. My goal is to have food challenge wins in all 50 states, along with all 27, and hopefully by the time it gets to that, over 30 countries. With food challenges, you've got to have the proper strategy. You can't just take a five pound burger, pick it up and eat it. You gotta be able to break it down, know that you have to eat the meats first, then the veggies, then the breads, then you usually have your fries or your onion rings or whatever your sides are. There's a whole lot to it that most people don't understand. And that's why over 90% of people lose food challenges. It's all about being ready, train, strategize, dominate. We are at Meat Liquor and I am frickin' starving, so it's definitely time to eat. You came all the way from Birmingham? Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Awesome. Well, that's awesome. Okay. Well, uh, that's really cool. I appreciate that. Homegirls are fucking hot. Holy crap. <laughs> you know, you've actually spoken to each other. Probably on oh, Facebook. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that probably. Is true. Yeah. That is true. Um, can I just ask about your little like routine that you like to go do? What the? Can the you do bench? it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. Can, I, can I get it? Sorry, can oh, I get it on my okay. phone? Hey, everybody. This is Randy Santel, Atlas with Atlas and Zeus Promotions. I'm here with my friend Vicky, and I think Vicky's going to try the challenge too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be good. That'd be cool to watch. But uh, let's get this challenge started. The whole flexing thing, I get a lot of flack about that. Atlas, Atlas, Atlas. That's just more fun than anything. It was more just flexing on it because I was basically showing the food who's daddy. Ah. Appreciate you guys coming today. This is awesome. Yeah. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with Atlas and Zeus Promotions and proud owner of foodchallenges.com. I'm here at Meat Liquor in central London. I'm taking on their triple chili challenge. Now, I'm going for overall win number 246 and win number 36 of my 2015 UK and Ireland tour. We've got all kinds of deliciousness over here. We're gonna do, I think, the burger first, then the hot dog, and then work on the chili cheese chips. I've got 10 minutes to do it. The record is frickin' two minutes and 47 seconds. I'm gonna try to break the record, so even if I lose, I'm still gonna get it free if I win in under 10 minutes. Oh, shit. I had my hat on wrong. I need to redo that. Hey, everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with Atlas and Zeus Promotions and proud owner of foodchallenges.com. Let's get this challenge started. A lot of people ask about who Atlas is. I'm a big Sylvester Stallone fan, and I love the movie Over the Top. Before every big arm wrestling match, he turns into his alter ego. He calls a machine. He basically takes his cap, does this, and then you can just see in his eyes that he's just complete focus, ready to dominate the task at hand. He's ready to destroy anybody in arm wrestling that even comes up to the table. When I turn my hat around and turn into Atlas, rub my hands together, any food sitting in front of me is going down. All right, one, two, three, go. The big thing to eating fast is not chewing, it's about swallowing. 
basically take a lot of small bites, almost like CPR. They tell you to open up the throat. You just do that, maybe with a little water pushing it through, just and then just swallow. You're able to move on to the next bite. It's all about practice, training, strategizing, and then soon you'll be able to, if you work hard enough, dominate. I was born in St. Louis, Missouri. Throughout my life, I've always been kind of a big kid. I used to be about 205 pounds, which is over 100 kilos back when I was in fifth and sixth grade. So I've always been able to eat a lot. My very first job, I was working at Subway. I was a senior sandwich artist. I used to eat three double meat footlongs uh, with extra vegetables and everything within about a five hour work period. Then I went on to Burger King and I used to basically fill up an entire tray of just everything and I was able to eat that because I was wanting to gain weight so I can be better at American football. As a big guy I've always wanted to just be really really ripped. I mean I think a lot of people that have been really really big they always have that oh man I would look so freaking good just all cut up sexy physique ripped up body. Well I've always wanted that in 2010, I found out about this national USA uh, men's health sponsored body transformation contest. I competed in this big, big transformation, and then in two months, I was able to lose 26 pounds. I got down from 250 down to 220, basically. The results that I got were really incredible. I mean, I've never seen myself like that before. I was so just stoked to be really, really ripped that uh, I ended up getting all oiled up and I did a 10 day tanning package and I bought this gladiator Halloween costume and I ended up winning. Once I finished with the transformation contest, my buddy had done this pizza contest before, this pizza challenge. He lost it with another partner, but he knew that I was very, very good at eating. So to celebrate and to treat ourselves, we did the big pizza challenge and we got 500 American dollars for that. 14 minutes and 32 seconds. No lie, Mr. Minetti, it's the real thing. So if you're watching on YouTube, it's the real thing, brother. Forget about it. After that, I was like, hey, I'm really, really good at this. We borrowed a camera from one of my friends, turned a 40 minute challenge into a 10 minute actual video. We posted that, people started to watch. A month later I did another challenge. More people started watching the videos. Friends were like, oh yeah, that's freaking awesome. I cannot believe you can do that. If I could say there's any one thing that bothers me sometimes, is to call competitive eaters wasteful. I may eat a lot of food, but it's my one meal for the day. Obviously, it's not that healthy to eat 7,000 calories of fried breakfast foods, but doing it every now and then is not gonna do any, si any kind of long-term health effects. The big, big trick is to keep up the exercise, the cardio, a little bit of the weightlifting. When you're fit, trim, feeling good, you're able to eat a lot more than when you're a lot heavier. Obviously, you can see there's a little bit there, but it's only going to take about two or three months to get it all back. Before all my big, big tours, I always get my blood levels tested to make sure that my cholesterol is fine, blood pressure is doing great, and everything else is great, because obviously I'm not doing this to hurt myself. My first time traveling out of the United States was back in 2010. Before that, I never even really had a passport. Whenever anybody asks me what I do, I say I'm a professional leader, and people were like, what the hell does that even mean? The hardest part was deciding to just leave what I went to school for to focus full time on all this food challenge stuff. I really don't own anything anymore other than my camera gear, my piece of crap car that's sitting at home. All my stuff actually just fits in a small vehicle. I'm not really money driven. I've got some investors uh, and I still live with them, my parents. <laughs> Mom and dad, they just want to see me happy and I'm very, very happy doing all this different stuff and that's kind of why they're helping financially right now. My sister, she's single. I'm obviously single. 
They just got a little bit of money stashed away for our weddings. And as far as I know, there's not really anybody that even likes me. So we got all this money that obviously isn't gonna go to any weddings anytime soon. It's a double room? It's a double room. Nice. Yeah. Huh, very nice. I'd say definitely when you're on a tour like this, in order to be able to do a challenge every day, not only do I have to drink a lot of water, but I have to drink a lot of fiber, or eat a lot of fiber too, and since I can't really have any other meals other than the food challenge, I supplement it with uh, this thing that I've got, that I got in the States, I brought it over here, called Super Colon Cleanse. It's basically just full of plant fibers and sterols and stuff like that, along with some natural laxatives and just to make sure that my intestines and everything are empty and then I can just fill it all up again with the new challenge that I do on that day. Look at how freaking awful that looks. It's just a whole bunch of just plant sterols just running through the water. It's gonna clear me out pretty good. Ah, 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 that is so gross. Ah. Now it's finally time. We're going to be heading into Wicked Waffle. I'm going to be taking on their Wicked Waffle Challenge. I'm very, very excited because as I can already see, there's a whole lot of different posters advertising I'm going to be there. And there's going to be a lot of people watching. So it's going to be a good time. Let's go on ahead in. Harry? Harry, yeah. Hey, nice, to, nice meet to meet you. Yeah, you, you too, you too. I haven't eaten today, so now I get to see what kind of ice cream there is. Do we get to choose? Yeah, what it is, you get to choose two scoops of each flavor. Obviously, if we let people choose 12 vanilla, I could make it. It'll be a little bit easier. Yeah, easier, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Ferro Rocher. Very, very delicious, but I don't know if I'd want to eat two massive scoops along with all the other stuff, so that would be more, once I finish, I'll get it for dessert. Today for the Wicked Waffle Challenge, I've got to eat four massive Belgian waffles. I've also got to eat 12 scoops of ice cream, all stacked, layered up in between all the waffles. So I'm really going to have a pretty simple strategy. In order to avoid brain freeze, I am going to be drinking some warm waters. I will also be using a really, really big spoon so I can get as much ice cream into my mouth as I can and then chase it with the warm water. Hey, thank you, too found out about Randy through YouTube, discovered one of his videos, which was this hot dog eating challenge. It was the biggest hot dog that I'd ever seen. Yeah, since watching that video, I was just hooked. It defies logic, the fact that he can eat all of that. It seems like you and I, a genuine person, and seeing his transformation from what he used to be like to the man mountain that he is now, is just incredible. He almost got a connection with the bloke. I've known of him for a couple of years. Um, I heard about the challenge through Facebook. I tried twice last year, completed it once and failed the first time. I saw Randy was coming down and thought I'd come down and have a go again. This is going to be win number 248 throughout my life since 2010. And I'm going to be doing it the same way as I've done all the other ones. Win before you begin. I won this challenge before I even walked into the door. And that's because I trained, I strategized, and I'm about to dominate. Holy cow. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with Atlas and Zeus Promotions and proud owner of foodchallenges.com. Very, very excited tonight. I'm here with my buddy Simon. We are in Portsmouth, England, down south of London at Wicked Waffle, taking on the Wicked Waffle Challenge. If we fail, it's 25 quid. But if we win, we'll get the meal free. I think we may even get t-shirts. We got 45 minutes. Let's get it started. Go, ready. these different families, these kids, all these people that have been watching all my videos, I'm not going to lose it in front of them. One challenge, there were probably 50 people there just cheering, Randy, 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 Randy. 
when it's like that, it's just like, I am not about to let these people down. things that I've sacrificed in order to go anywhere I need to go, do anything I need to do. There can't be any type of serious relationship involved. I spend a lot of time alone, which kind of sucks, but I've learned to cope and be able to be fine with that. I ended up uh, making myself single, we'll call it that. Most of my friends uh, that I went to high school and college with, they're all doing what society calls growing up. They've all got families and they've got babies along the way and it was kind of pissing me off that every time I get on Facebook, somebody's getting engaged, somebody's doing this, having a baby, blah, 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 blah. So I ended up just for myself getting a ring and uh, it basically just says married to my dreams. It can get lonely sometimes, but, I mean, I've got my music and my career that I'm always working on. There are some days where something bad might happen, like at the end of every day, I'm really, really broke. Because, <laughs> I mean, I've spent thousands and thousands, it's probably over 30 grand over the past couple years on all this different foodchallenges.com stuff, randysantel.com stuff, but at the end of the day, I would rather sleep in a frickin' gutter than ever really quit on giving up on my dreams. So they're gonna happen. It's not a question of really whether they are gonna happen. Once somebody gives me that call or that email and says, Randy, I think I really got something that we need to be doing. Need you to be here. You don't even need to give me more than a few hours notice. I'll be there. I'll be packed up and ready to go. This is what my life is dedicated to. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with Atlas and Zeus Promotions and proud owner of foodchallenges.com. Just want to remind you guys, if you're wanting to do a food challenge, never forget, win before you begin. Train, strategize, and dominate. Just like I do, you do those three things, you'll be able to too.